Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and I'm back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn a few of the methods that we have missed from the scenario interface. So if I go to my scenario interface here, we can see like we have around eight methods where we already have discussed like is failed, um, basically returns a, returns us boolean. If true means the test case, the scenario is failed or else it is passed. Okay. Um, similarly, we have discussed the embed. Embed is basically used to attach the screenshot uh, in the reporter. Okay? And write is basically if you want to write any text to the reporter, you can use that. And then we have like get name. Get name will return the name of the um, scenario that is running. Okay. So we have discussed this four. So I'm going to skip those. Other than that, we have few other like. Uh, uh, get source tag name, get status, get ID, get URI, and get lines. We're going to discuss all those uh, now. Okay. So here, before starting, I want to give you one clarification in the hooks concept that uh, yesterday we have used this order, right? So order basically uh, it get changes actually. And for example, if you go within the before. Uh, uh, file this interface file here you can see like lower numbers are run first okay so the default value is 10,000 so if you give less than one that will execute first the lower the number the order it will run the first but it is going to change in the after so if you go within the after interface here you can see like higher number are run first so default is 10,000 if you give like 10,001 that will run first then followed by the default one okay so in our scenario what happened here is basically like we are using this after as well as to do the cleanup we are using this after as well so both has the value of 10,000 now so it will try to execute based on the tag name or maybe based on the ASCII order so here we have like cleanup and here we have like uh, after scenario so a comes first obviously so it is expected to run this one if it turns driver will be quit and when it try to use the driver again it will be like your uh, null pointer exception but fortunately or unfortunately we didn't get that exception but while i was recording the tamil video the same concept in tamil video there i have saw uh, there I have seen that issue okay in case if you have noticed the same uh, you just add the order like this should run lately after this one okay so just add the order tag and that should fix your problem okay so yeah that's the one update I wanted to give you I'm going to comment this one so this basically we don't need this now okay and uh, we have this get title what is this get name is there get it before step and before i'm going to comment this as well because we don't want it a lot of reporters now okay yeah fine so let's go and learn the uh scenario functions or methods okay so here we have this many functions right we can use this in anywhere but like s failed we sh we are supposed to anywhere in the sense like we can use in both the um, before annotation or the after annotations but s failed basically when once we complete the test exec execution then only we'll get the result so it is makes sense to use the is failed in the after scenario similarly the status status is basically it will tell us the running status for example if i go within this uh result here you can select we have enum type like passed if it's passed it is it will return as pass if it's skipped skipped in the sense like if there is any um we have seen the skip scenarios few times right so if you make the dry run as true it will be skipped so in that case we'll get that pending in the sense like if you do not have any of the step definition uh from the feature file like we didn't do the mapping or we didn't write it then we'll get the pending undefined in the sense like uh 
if the status is unknown then we'll get this undefined ambiguous not sure i never seen that and failed is basically when it is failed obvious right so let's see how to use this so only this to remember like we have to use this in the after other than that anything any method within this interface we can use it in either in before or after okay so as per your requirement to be simple okay i'm going to quickly add some fear sysout statement uh, so that we'll see the result so scenario dot get name already we discussed like it will return the name of the um, scenario and then we have uh, get id get id will return as the id of the scenario and get uri will return as the location of the feature file and then we have this get lines which will return the line number of the feature file i know the method name is very self-explanatory but still i have to show you the demo okay um so let me give you a quick glimpse so it's going to be like your name and this is going to be your id and this guy is going to be your uri and this is going to be your lines and this is going to be your tags tags i hope you already know is just give us the tags that are marked over there okay anyways let's go to our runner file and i'm going to run this and see there will be only one difference in the scenario and scenario outline i will tell you that other than that all are very very easy feasy okay so here also we got exception actually so here you can see like we got three failures and if i go to this result of running class this is what i have faced in the while recording the selenium i'm google but tamil video as well but yesterday we executed the same we didn't get this session id is null not sure like what is the actual behavior um but easy way to fix it okay let me show you the exam yeah. error message one more time so basically like we are trying to do the cleanup but before that the after hook got executed and it called the driver dot quit after that we are trying to use the driver in the um cleanup so here you can select hooks dot cleanup here we are trying to use it so that's why we are getting like uh, session id is null using web driver after quit so basically this guy executes first which will call the driver dot quit and then this guy executes okay so that is one thing so what we can do is we can simply change the order so here i can say like order and i can give it like one one in the sense like it will be lower so if you go to the after you can see like higher number are run first higher number in the sense like um the default value is 10,000, right so it will go and execute this guy which doesn't have any order that means the default value is 10,000. so and higher will run first so this will run first and then followed by this will run okay so no confusion it's very simple but the confusion i have is how did the same code work yesterday if it's if it's very same from the beginning then i would know like okay i'm doing some mistake but sudden of mistake something that i cannot accept but yeah as per the document higher the value that it will run now if i execute it will it should not return us any exception let's see so here you can see it's going to the clear cut and it done the clear cut as well so our code is working but still like how did it worked yesterday no idea if you have anything about this do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to Okay, so now we got um, all the test passed. There is no failure. Okay, 
So if I go up here, you can see da, 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 where is this? Yeah. And give that. And this is the name. So we know like what scenario we'll get. So if you see the ID and the URI, URI basically tells us like the path of the feature file. And if you remember in the second video, I said like Cucumber always search from the SRC. So that's why like we got the path from the SRC folder, not your root of the project. Okay. And ID basically tell us like the URI plus the execution number, execution line number. So in this case, it's like 14. Why 14? So if I go back to my add to cart feature file, here it says 14. Okay. So the difference is here is like when we run the scenario outline, basically it will tell us the examples that it is using. So for example, if you go here, it should be something like 14, then yeah, here you can say like it is 14, which is this one like our Tony test data. And then we have like feature dot 15, which is like uh, our Tony Casey. And then we have like feature 20, which is like our Tony Casey again. Okay. But if you go and scroll down here, you can select we are getting login dot feature dot seven. So in the login dot feature, basically like um, it will give us the line number seven and 14. If I go, so here you can see seven and here you can see it's basically 14. Okay. So what is the difference in scenario outline? It will give us the line number of the examples it's using whereas in scenario since we do not have the examples it will directly give us the line number of the like scenario name okay so that is the only difference in scenario and scenario outline same concept applies for your lines as well okay so if you go to the lines here you can see like it says like um seven so basically it is the line number like the seventh line number and then we have the uh, 14th uh, which is this one okay and here we do not have any kind of tags. So if you go and see here, it, it gives the tags as empty. Okay, both are commented. So of course it is empty. And if you see lines for the scenario outline, it is, it is going to be your two values. One is the example and another one is the scenario name. For example, here 14 comma uh, 5. What is 14? 14 is same as your ID. That is the uh, data example okay so 14 why this is not coming this is basically like your header so which is useless i mean not useless which is not your actual test data okay so here you can select 14 comma 5 5 is what 5 is the scenario outline name similarly next should be like 15 comma 5 here we go and next should be like your 20 comma 5 and here why is that here is that okay so scenario outlines means you will get two values the example line number plus the scenario name whereas for scenario we'll get only the scenario name okay and what we have tags right so here you can see like we have like prod and clean a cart and something 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 so we'll get all those okay yeah so here it's like clean cart and the prod which is like this one so this and this and then it will be like test and clean cut and prod okay so here we are getting like uh this and then this okay so that's it very simple um and here if you see the status is undefined because we do not know what is the status of the current execution so if it's unknown then we'll get undefined if it's known like pass fail skipped or un uh skip we'll get that okay so that's it very simple thing um so that's it this all are the cucumber core concept we don't have anything much to learn more than this so the basic i cannot say basic so the two entire cucumber concept is that only maybe if we can go to the next version of cucumber we will have something to learn but i saw the documentation very easy nothing is there okay but yeah uh, maybe we can take few more videos on selenium i mean cucumber um like writing with page object model and got a comment with the base class probably we'll try to do that okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment or in our discord thanks for watching see you in the next
soon. Bye-bye. Take care.